Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be talking about some top summer perfumes, basically an all-time favorite perfumes of mine. Because I'm somebody who cannot go for an overwhelming strong scent. Uh, if you are one of those kinds who do not like the sweet or you know the very womanly scent, then I don't think this video is for you. If you're new to my channel, my name is Shweta Vijay. Welcome. I hope that you will stick around. Please don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to also hit the notification bell so that you will know every time I drop a new video uh, I'm also going to be in the process telling you how to make your perfume last for a very long time uh, especially during the summer because that's no matter how strong the scent is unless you are putting an oil base and that is like an oud it doesn't last for a very very long time and you want something that is going to remain as fresh as possible let's get on to the first recommendation of mine and that comes from Gucci I love everything that comes from the house of Gucci the packaging itself it's a beautiful gift to give which is slightly debatable because you know gifting perfumes is a personal choice but I highly recommend the Gucci black the Gucci gold as well as Oud if you're somebody who loves the Arabic scent to it for me it was a bit too strong but if you want a very long lasting perfume not saying that the black and the gold is not long lasting but if you want something that will last you even much more longer and you want that rich Arab kind of a scent then Gucci has come out with their own Oud fragrance which is very very good Gucci Guilty and uh, the black and the gold. I mean one spritz and it's great for daytime and you can definitely layer it and take it all the way to the night. So definitely you can get an undernote of peach and amber and patchouli and it is so beautiful. I think I have about, you know, almost six or seven times I have repurchased. It's been my all time favorite and I think that is why it has made it to the list and I highly recommend you giving it a try. My next recommendation, I discovered it thanks to YouTuber Ashia who actually spoke about Paco Rabin, uh, Lady Million and I absolutely love the perfume. The moment I spritz it, she's so right because that is one perfume that is so light. There's so many key notes to this fragrance. It's got an orange zesty undertone as well as Arabic jasmine and you can also get a patchouli scent out of it. It is really, really lovely. It's, it's such a ladylike perfume, you know. And there are times when I have received a lot of compliments every time I have spritzed this. Uh, like Ashia said, it's definitely one of those head turner perfumes. Very subtle. It is not at all overwhelming. The bottle itself is so beautiful with its diamond shaped and the golden top. It's so nice to keep it on to you know on your dressing table it's really a lovely gift as well it is also very very reasonable that's also something that I've noticed that every time you go to the duty free it's always on an offer so please don't miss out just sniffing this beautiful fragrance out whenever you visit the perfume shop because it's very lovely it's very light very summery and definitely a girly girl scent so that is my next recommendation now this next perfume I love it so much oh my lord I just discovered this a month ago it comes from Dolce & Gabbana and it's called light blue let me just tell you this perfume is clean you know there are some perfumes that doesn't have an overwhelming scent but it comes as crisp and clean like as if you have just come out of the shower and your skin smells so fresh it is described as Italy in a bottle and I can understand why it's got a very citrusy lemon kind of a scent infused in it also granny smith apple and it's got you know jasmine it's got cedar wood it's got amber it's so so beautiful and yet so fresh and what a delight this perfume is definitely one of my favorite perfumes for daytime it just makes everyone feel so bloody happy and light and it's very much a holiday scent it lasts for a very long time the way it fades off also it fades out in the most subtle beautiful fresh style very hard for me to very hard for me to describe the scent to you you have to spray it and spritz it to believe how amazing it is it reminds me so much of ck1 ck1 is a must-have perfume for men which is my next video by the way i shall be talking about my top perfumes for men so if you're thinking of gifting it to your husband and your boyfriend it's going to be very much more easier for you after you see the video probably it will help you a lot more but ck1 is also my all-time favorite perfume and many times i wear ck1 myself because it's a unisex kind of a perfume but it reminds me so much of that but much more better and it lasts much more longer than the ck1 the next top suggestion is a beautiful perfume with a 
stunning packaging, stunning bottle, and oh, an incredibly sexy scent. This addictive perfume is called Good Girl and it comes from Carolina Herrera and I am absolutely in love with it. Guys, you have to buy this perfume. This makes the best gift. This is the kind of perfume that even if somebody who is not very sure about, you know, really sweet, sexy, womanly scent, they are going to fall in love with it. More so because of the packaging. It has a floral wave of undertones like jasmine and rose, yet it has a very deep under notes of cocoa. It's so beautiful fully intense and very very sexy i highly highly recommend this the bottle itself is one of my favorite every time i it's a pain to carry definitely it's not very travel friendly but every time i have carried this i know i have noticed a lot of people saying that oh my god this bottle is stunning the packaging itself is like so lovely look at that stiletto design it is so very intense and it lasts for a very long time i would give this around a good six hours you know and obviously you can the more that you layer it the better it is it's uh, it's got such a beautiful floral scent to it and the moment that it settles down it turns into much more deeper you can you can definitely smell that you know coffee or cocoa beans you know kind of a uh, under note to it it's really lovely you have to try this this is one of my favorite perfume this is also another perfume that's a head turner because every time i apply this hey i get a lot of compliments so yeah definitely another must have and the last perfume that has made it to the top five is Black Opium from YSL. Yves Saint Laurent, uh, the opium itself, you know, was a cult classic. I remember my mum, you know, wearing opium and it was really, really strong. That perfume, oh my God, if you want a, the longest, I think it's one of the perfumes that will last you from day till night, but it is extremely rich and very, very intense. Black Opium, uh, you know, the notes itself, if you know what the under notes are, you would understand that it's got that coffee bean under note but at the same time it's got so many other layers attached to it it's a nighttime perfume mind you because this is going to last for a very long time very intense it's dark it's mysterious it's sexy it's everything beautiful i just love this i don't think there's any fashion or beauty blogger out here in the uk that doesn't have this on their dressing table because this is definitely one of those must-have perfumes it has a very addictive combination of white floral as well as you can get that undernote of vanilla and cedar wood as well as coffee. Hands down, one of the best perfumes for women. Absolutely lush and sexy. Highly recommended. Now there's so many ways of making your perfume last for a very long time during the summertime and these are the points what I'm about to discuss with you it has always worked with me. One is always apply your perfume right after you get out of the shower. Something about the steam and opening, it opens up the pores on your body and it absorbs the perfume much more better. When you apply your perfumes, there are some key areas, that is your wrist, both the wrist. Please do not spritz and do not mix it. When you spritz it, just let it be there. You should never, you know, rub your wrist together because it completely destroys the notes of the perfume. So make sure that it goes onto your wrist, on the back of your earlobe, on the back of your knee. That is also another hidden point which actually makes the perfume last for a very, very long time. Around your navel area and on your back as well. Right here on the small of your back just spritz a little bit and on your ankles this will make sure that every time that you walk around it penetrates it just completely overwhelms you it completely surrounds you and makes your perfume last for a very very long time another thing what i like to do is before i step out to lock that entire fragrance on me i like to spritz it in the air and just walk past by it what i also like to do is because our hair tends to capture the scents a lot more strongly please never spray the perfume on your hair directly it will dry your hair make sure that you take a brush you just spritz it on the bristles and just brush your hair final give it a final coating and this will make sure that when you hug somebody your hair will smell beautifully and it will make the perfume come out much more strongly and last even much more better nobody likes a perfume that is too overwhelming that as soon as you enter you smell the perfume and it you know completely gags you you want everything to be subtle so when, even when you 
just spritzing on the key area make sure that you're not you're not doing more than twice you can just do a single spritz everywhere and it's more than enough make sure that before you apply the perfume on your key areas what I love to do is I love to moisturize my skin with a non uh, a cream that has no fragrance at all and I like to apply a little bit of a Vaseline if I want my perfume to go all the way till the evening I take Vaseline I just apply that on the key areas that I discussed uh, I apply the Vaseline first and over that I apply the perfume because of the Vaseline it has a tendency because it's got no fragrance and because of its stickiness something about the combination of Vaseline and perfume just makes the perfume last even more longer please make sure that during summertime you always apply a deodorant and never put your perfume on the underarms because number one the perfume the notes of it when it mixes with the sweat glands it comes across with a smell that is not too pleasant okay it is going to do you more harm than good plus the it's very sensitive the area the underarm area and the perfume has a, it has a little bit of alcohol in it it can make your underarms a lot more darker please make sure you use a deodorant a deodorant stick or a fragrance that is free from parabens and chemicals they are some of my favorites which I shall mention in the description bar go check it out you guys or just wear a deodorant that is light don't use talcum powder and on top of that apply the perfume it's just going to be a complete mess also what I love to do when I go out for a party or you know for a long night out with my friends or for an event I always make sure I stay clearly away from the kitchen what outfit I'm wearing I will never enter the kitchen area because her outfits have a tendency of grabbing and this you know absorbing all the scent that is around so make sure that you have your outfit far away from your kitchen area never mix the two especially your hair as well being a Dubai kid this is so part of my DNA and I highly recommend you investing in a proper oud you can buy the bowl oud is a fragrance that will last forever uh, if you notice that as soon as Arabs walk out of the lift or enter the lift the first thing that hits you is that strong oud scent and it just lasts for a very very long time I guys i'm telling you the oud has completely changed its undernote it is no longer that strong you know the one that gives you a headache it's there's so many floral notes to oud as well so i usually go for something like this this is called an oud lighter which you will get in the middle east again i will leave the information in the description bar where you can pick it up if you're in dubai or anywhere in the middle east you will see so many of the shopping malls you'll see small small stalls that sell this this makes it much more easier for people who do not want to burn the coat and have a big vessel what I do is I just take this lighter I put a little bit of oud as you can see right here on the tip and I just burn it it's like a lighter you it's, it has a lighter fluid you can um, you know refill it with the lighter fluid and just like a lighter you flame it up and the fragrance starts to infuse I put this in the cupboard for some time I just apply this in the cupboard I switch it on put the smoke into the cupboard and I close the cupboard and all of my clothes has that strong oud smell so the clothes it's Itself has got its own fragrance and when you add your additional fragrance on your body you are going to smell so divine for summertime so this is how it is it just it just flames it up and I don't know if you can see the smoke just emits it's such a beautiful nifty device oh and it smells beautiful and you can put that you know because it's not such a heavy vessel with coal you can just rotate Rotate it around your hair area as well as your clothes, whatever that you're planning to do in the cupboard, in the car. I uh, highly recommend this and this oud. I uh, recommend this oud lighter or an oud. All these little tips and tricks of making your perfume last for a very, very long time. So I hope you liked it. Do leave your feedback in the comment section and I shall see you when I see you. I love you so much. Bye for now.